In our last few sessions, we've been going through working with raster or bitmap objects in Corel Draw, primarily focusing on monochromes and some of the basics or fundamentals of color separations and masking. In this session, I want to take a look at working with the object or objects docker in Corel Photo Paint. We kind of move around and handle objects a little bit differently in Draw than we do in Photo Paint. We want to take a look at Photo Paint in this session, and we really do want to be aware of how to work with Photo Paint because we have a tremendous amount of raster functionality available to us in photo paint that we can work with in the Corel Draw graphics suite. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and I've got some objects here and I'll just go ahead with this baseball. I'll select that and then come up here and click on edit bitmap. And that will open my object in Corel photo paint. Now I have this bitmap object open in photo paint. Over here is my objects docker and you can click on that to expand it and click it here to contract it. If you don't have this available, you can go to Window and then go to Dockers and select it here. Go ahead and click off. Now, by default, many times objects come in as a background object. And you notice that transparency is not available. But there's an icon over here called Background Active Not Selected. And you can click on that and that will convert that to Object 1. Then you'll see that your transparencies are available. I'm going to go back to Draw here. I'm going to click on the soccer ball and I'm just going to go ahead and hit control C to copy that. I'll go back to paint and I'll hit control V to paste that in. Now I have a soccer ball on top of my baseball. And I can add some transparency to this. Go with normal, come over here and slide this down and now I've got kind of like a soccer baseball. As you can see there, I'm starting to mix my objects together by applying transparency in my objects. Let's take a look at some of the things we can do in the Docker itself. We've seen that we can do the transparency. We can come down here and we can create a new object. We can create a new lens. We can add a new group here at the bottom and we can also delete. If I wanted to delete my soccer ball, I could click this and that would delete it. I'll hit Control Z and we'll go back. There's also a slider down here at the bottom and I can slide that back and forth holding down my left mouse button to enlarge or reduce the size of my thumbnails in my objects. Now objects are ordered from top to bottom. That means our soccer ball is on the top and the baseball is behind. If I left click, hold down and drag this, it will now be behind my baseball and I can't see it. You also notice these little eye icons next to your objects and you can turn off and turn on your objects with this. Go back to the soccer ball here, we'll make this opacity 100, I'll come back here to object 1 and I'll make this opacity down to about right there which would be 50% and you can see the effect that that had on my graphic. Now looking at all of this and dealing with objects it gets a little bit tricky because if I have this object set up with 100 percent excuse me 100 percent opacity and I have the wrong object selected and I go to do something like adjust let's go to tone curve and we'll change that just a bit so we can see what happens you're really not going to see it because you are on the wrong object and it didn't apply to your baseball and you're wondering well why didn't that apply to, reflect, apply to my image well it's because you had the wrong object selected click off and you can see we had that I'm going to hit control Z control Z and you can see that we undid that there let's take a look at adding a lens actually we'll go with start with new object if you just add a new object it will be blank and it came in here as object 4 and I could order this left click hold down drag and now I've moved this around Let's take a look at a new lens and I'll apply a lens on the object one. I'll click on that. We'll go with a grayscale and select OK. Now you notice that I have a lot of sliders here, but if I get into colors that I don't have in my graphic, and if you look at the ball, there's not a lot of blue in there. So if I come in and I start sliding the blue, I don't get much of effect. But if I look at the red, you can see there's a lot of red in there. And I start to left click slide that darker and you can see I get a darker effect for my ball. There's also a lot of yellows in here and I can left click slide that back and you can see that that starts to have some effect and makes that darker. I'll go ahead and select this and bring this back up here and we'll leave this like this for now. 
So now I've got a lens on my baseball, and that lens is an object. I can double click this, and that will bring the grayscale lens dialog box back up. Go ahead and select cancel. I can also create a group, and I'll create a new group here. And in my group, I'm going to take this lens, and I'm just going to left click and drag it into my group. And now my lens is in my group. I'm going to take my ball and drag that into my group. I'm going to take my soccer ball and drag that into my group. And I'm going to take this object one, left click, hold, release, and drag that into my group. Now you see an arrow here in the group. And the lens is at the bottom, so it's not applied. So I'd want to left click and drag that lens up to say here. And now I've got a grayscale lens. Now if I go to this object, which is the baseball, and I change its opacity, we'll start to see the soccer ball coming through. Now we've got quite an interesting effect that we've built out here in that we've got this soccer ball behind this baseball and we've got a little graphic element that we've created that we could very easily convert to monochrome for a sports design in Corel Draw. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and save this and then I'll go back to draw and you can see here's my object but the grayscale lens was not carried with it. In draw, and you want to be aware of things like this when you're working with photo paint. So I'll go back to photo paint, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and select these objects, and I'm going to right click and come down and select combine objects together. And when I do that, I get my lens, as you can see right there. Then I can go ahead and go to save, and I can go back to Corel, and now I've got that set up with the effects on top of it, and I can convert this to a very nice monochrome design element that I might want to use for a sports design on a t-shirt or something like that. To do that, all I would do is convert this to a monochrome directly and draw, and I'll use Fashion Factory for that. I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger for my conversion. And I'll go to Advanced Tools, and I'll come to Fashion Factory 3, and I'll go to Monochrome, and I'm going to select Convert at 300 DPI, and we'll let that process. And what my Fashion Factory has done for me is it's automatically converted this grayscale image to a monochrome. If I click on this, you can see that we've got a bitmap monochrome 300 dpi. Now I've got some transparency that I can apply to this image that I can apply to other images such as CMYK and RGBs unless I go through difficult steps. Go ahead and left click to take out my background color. You notice I can right click for my foreground color and make this any color I want. Go ahead and convert this into a clip art that we could put on a t-shirt, especially if we're working with a color t-shirt. I'm just going to create a simple ellipse. I'll go right here to the center, hold down shift and control to create a perfect ellipse and just make that just about the exact same size as my actual ball. And I'll just bring this right in here and I'll line it up with the shape of the ball. I'm going to pull this off this way here to one side right there. We'll do the same here and we'll bring this in here just a bit on this side. Probably could have lined these a little bit better in photo paint. But I'll go ahead to my object properties and we'll give this a let's say a 4 millimeter. No, that's not going to be enough. Let's go to 10. 10 millimeter outline. Fill that with let's say a white. Right click on that and select order to back of page and I'd be able to apply this to a design. Now I'd probably want to come in and do some tweaking here, which I can go to my shape tool for that. First we'll convert to curves and I'll just double click here and double click here. Select both of these, make sure that they are cusp and then just left click here and bring this out right around there. So it goes around with what's going on with the threads of the baseball there and we could do the same here drop a node here drop a node here double click lasso both of them make sure that they are cusp and then just pull out click here make sure I've got my vector object selected here I've got my right here I'm going to go to view wireframe because I'm actually behind the monochrome bitmap I'm going to view wireframe click on this there and then I can pull this out left click hold down pull this out because I 
got it all converted so it fits the shape of the ball there also I can zoom in here and take a look and that'll be alright for now I'll take a look over here I don't want to do the same double click here drop a node double click here drop a node left click hold down lasso both of them come up into the properties bar and make sure that that's a cusp and then just left click and drag it out and I could go right to here where you see those threads coming drop a node right there change that to a cusp zoom in with my scroll wheel and just kind of arch this out and do some of the same over here and that'll be fine I could do some more tweaking on this if I wanted to but we'll just go ahead and wrap up quickly here for the sake of the tutorial now that all of that's done I'm gonna go back to view and enhanced and I'd have a pretty cool baseball design set up here that I could put on a garment for a design or something like that I'd have my monochrome in front and my baseball behind now if I wanted to I could actually go ahead and right click not left click hold down drag this over the top of the other oval release it and select power clip inside and now I've got a monochrome bitmap inside of my vector object got my white fill out here come up here probably want to do rounded corners and end caps go to behind fill and you can see how that worked out now I've got this baseball in here but it's not really lined up with my vector so I'll go ahead down here and I'll come in and say select power clip contents from the power clip left click and just move this up so it fits in properly and then once I get really close I can use the arrow key to move it a little bit there to the right and then we have that set up so we'll wrap here relating to our session on working with objects in the objects docker in Corel Photo Paint and as you can see with some simple techniques even in the Corel Photo Paint objects docker with transparencies and lenses we've been able to create a pretty cool graphic here with some photorealistic effects very easily in a matter of minutes that we could go forward with and create a nice sports design with but yet again be able to color separate everything and have a photorealistic look go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session